Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do something a little bit different, which is to do a review of this Amazon sewing cabinet. So I purchased this sewing cabinet off of Facebook Marketplace. I purchased it disassembled, so I did have to assemble it myself, much like you would if you purchased it from Amazon. Um, the woman I bought it from just accidentally ordered two, so she sold it to me for a bit of a discount, but it was in kind of all of the boxes that you would get kind of originally if you got it from Amazon. It sells for around $150, I believe, um, if you purchased it new. So it is kind of a great bargain piece, and I just wanted to go over um, a little bit about the item and then talk through some pros and cons to help you decide if it's a good furniture piece for you. So starting off with a tour of the item, you can see that it has two kind of cabinet doors. The leftmost door has some cubbies in it, so they're pretty kind of generous cubbies that can hold a ton of stuff. Uh, what I do is I keep my kind of sewing machine stuff in that purple bag, as well as some hand sewing stuff, as well as maybe um, my pins in there, my pins on my pin cushion. Um, so I keep kind of all of the things that I want to be easily accessible in that top cubby, and you'll see why, because when I open it up, it is kind of very easily accessible when you're using the table. In that bottom cubby, I keep like extra notions as well as buttons and zippers, but the point is that these uh, cubbies are nice and generous, so it's great to keep your stuff organized. Then on the left side of the piece, you have a leaf here that actually will extend up to make the table longer. And that's what it looks like when it is fully open, so you get much more kind of top um, workspace when you do open that leaf, and that leaf does rest on that uh, cupboard door and so it has kind of that stability or that support underneath the leaf to uh, help it stay up. Underneath the leaf kind of attached to this door is also a little dowel. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the hole there in the door and then you can see that little dowel and that will keep the the door from kind of swinging open. It keeps the whole thing a little bit secure. This door with the cubbies also has a wheel on the bottom there to help it more easily open and close um, to make it easier to kind of move it essentially. And now that you see it open, you can see that the um, kind of table has quite a bit of room for space to work all the way across there. I also keep a little lamp on there as well as um, some USB plugs. Underneath the kind of main table, you can see that white thing there. That's my sewing machine. So it does have a shelf to store your show sewing machine when the cabinet is closed, which I really like. And then on this side here, on the right hand side, there is another cabinet. And that cabinet just has some adjustable shelves. So you can see I keep things in there like thread and my scissors. There's some marking tools back behind there, some extra quilt blocks and then quilting supplies on the bottom. Um, and like I said, those shelves are adjustable height. So if you have something a little bit taller or shorter, you can adjust the shelves so that you can accommodate the thing that you want to keep in there. On the bottom, it might be a little bit hard to see, but there are six wheels on this piece that help kind of move it around. So you have that one on the door and then you have two here and then you have two there as well as one in that back corner that you can't really see. In terms of measurements, when it is open all the way um, open like this, the length this way is 63 inches, so a little over five feet. The depth from you know the front to that wall is only 19 inches, so it's a little bit narrow. And then the height from the floor to the top of the table is 29.5 inches, which is a pretty standard height for any kind of desk. Um, so now I wanted to go over the pros and cons of this item. Um, one of the first pros is it has awesome storage space. And you can see it especially um, as it's open right here. If you imagine if my sewing machine was sitting kind of on the top of the table here, that cubby is super easy access when you're sitting and working. So when I have all of my like extra sewing machine feet or my pen cushion, or I have some wonder clips back there, they're all super easy access, which makes it really easy to, um, you know, grab things as I'm working and I don't need to worry about like opening a drawer. Um, like I used to have these plastic Sterilite drawers, as you can see there, where I used to keep all of my notions and it would be kind of a, a pain to get them out as I was working. Um, another big pro in terms of storage is those adjustable shelves like I showed you in this cabinet. Um, you do, you know, you can adjust the height to accommodate a lot of the things that you want to store. Uh, another pro of this item is that it has those wheels on the bottom like I was showing you. Um, so you have those six wheels which do make it a little bit easier to move around if, um, you know, as opposed to kind of just a standard desk that just had feet. 
um, or just had, you know, standard desk legs. Although I will talk about how easy it actually is to move around and how practical it is, but the thought is there and it is nice. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but of those six wheels, three do have locking mechanisms. You can see that locking mechanism there. So once you do have it in a spot where you want it to stay, you can lock those wheels so it won't move around if you accidentally like bump into it or something. Um, another big pro to it is it's compact when it's folded closed. So you basically, um, when it's closed, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, the measurements are uh, 39.5 inches from that edge to you know where that leaf starts. So that's a pretty kind of small, um, cabinet and I think that's you know great if you have less space or you're trying to save space um, but still have like a nice sewing setup. Um, another big pro is that you have a great spot uh, down there in that shelf to put your sewing machine. So when this cabinet is closed your sewing machine is you know very secure back there. You have I don't know if you can see it but a piece of wood behind the sewing machine to keep it from falling backwards. You have that shelf there. You have this cabinet closed so that or this door closed so that your sewing machine is you know fully protected. The other nice thing about having that spot to put your sewing machine is that when you are uh, not sewing but you're doing something else like you're cutting out your fabric or even just you know doing stuff on your laptop because you're working or something, you can use that top surface of the desk and you can sit comfortably. Your knees don't like hit your sewing machine or anything like that. Um, so I do find it comfortable to use this table even when my sewing machine is down there. So in that way, it's kind of a multifunction piece if you need something that was like a combo desk sewing situation. Um, and the last pro is the doors have magnetic hardware. You can kind of see it here. There is magnetic hardware that keeps the doors securely closed. So they do, um, there's the hardware there. They do close and kind of snap closed and stay closed. So starting with some of the cons, um, the first con is that assembly was very time consuming. You can imagine with, you know, building these cubbies, putting on the doors, there's hinges on those doors, there's those magnetic pieces, there's that shelf, there's the leaf, you know, there's just a ton of stuff to do to put this table together. So it did take me quite a bit of time. And actually my boxes when I got them were missing some of the hardware for those little magnetic things. It was super easy to find some at Lowe's that worked. I'm not sure if that's like going to be rele relevant for you if you do buy this new off of Amazon because I'm sure it was just that the woman I bought it from might have misplaced those screws when she sold it to me. Um, in terms of assembly, the instructions were, you know, like your typical IKEA instructions. There were no words. There was no guidance. So actually this did lead me to mess one thing up. These little magnetic bits do need to be pushed all the way uh, forward. As you can see, the screw is kind of at the very back of them. When I first installed them, I actually pushed them all the way back because I didn't think they should hang off, you know, further than the actual wood of the desk. Although now that I understand kind of how it goes together, obviously the magnet needs to be further than the desk to catch the door. Um, but what that meant is that when I was actually installing this little magnetic piece, both of them actually, I pushed it, you know, too far back. Um, but when I tried to fix it and I tried to pull these screws out, I actually ended up stripping this screw. So this part is too far back. It's kind of crooked. As you can see, there's like, you know, it's diagonal there uh, and I can't move it forward properly to make it kind of flush where it needs to be. So this cabinet actually doesn't close super well, but that's more of an assembly problem than an actual design problem. Uh, I just wish the instructions had maybe been more clear about where to place those things. And <laughs> I wish I had been a little less overzealous in over tightening my screws. Also in terms of assembly, I did need help. Um, I was able to do most of it by myself, but I did ask my husband to help me put the doors on the hinges because I, you know, this door in particular gets pretty heavy once you have those cubbies on it and everything. Um, and the way they have you assemble it is to put the, those cubbies on before you assemble the door onto the hinges. So I needed his help um, with that. I was actually able otherwise to kind of flip this from laying on the tabletop to like right side up. I could do it by myself and I'm not like particularly strong in any sense. So, you know, that was just the one bit where I needed help and I probably could have figured it out if he wasn't home, could have like propped it up on something. Um, another con for this table is that because the cubbies are on this door, you do have a bit of a limitation in terms of what you can put on that shelf. So for example, my sewing machine, which is the Brother CS6000i, comes with this extra table. And when I originally had um, my stuff here, I put this here because I thought it kind of looked nice. But this extends too far out and it will hit that cubby so you can't close the cabinet. 
So instead I have to put um, this on top of my sewing machine there. Now, obviously that's not really that big of a deal, but if you did have maybe a wider machine for whatever reason, um, maybe I'm thinking like if you had like a quilting machine that might be a little wider or something, uh, it would be harder to fit on that shelf. Uh, so you should measure that shelf and should measure your um, machine. And for reference, that shelf is about six inches deep. Um, so that is, I think, the room that you'll have to play with there. Another con of this table is the support of the leaf. So the leaf is supported up here by the cabinet in the front, but there's nothing in the back actually supporting the leaf. I think I've seen in some tables or desks that have a leaf like that, they have also a folded in like leg that you can drop down when you do extend the leaf, but this table doesn't have anything like that. Uh, you can kind of see what I mean here actually, there's, there's nothing there supporting the leaf. Now to me, this leaf feels pretty secure. Like I don't think that it's going to fall or anything, but if you had something like children who tend to like lean on things, or if you yourself were planning on doing something that's kind of heavy, like maybe you were planning on doing leather crafting where you have to like hammer holes into the leather, then this leaf would not be able to support that kind of um, pressure. Another con of this piece is that the wheels, while they are helpful in moving the item, they don't swivel great. So what you would preferably like for wheels like this is for them to turn like, you know, 360 really easily. But when I was trying to get this piece, you know, over to this part of our house, um, twisting and turning the cabinet was pretty hard. You know, I couldn't necessarily make it go uh, 180 very easily, essentially. So if you're planning on moving this thing a lot, I think that would get pretty annoying. Um, it's not super heavy when you're just dragging it, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. But if, if you're looking for something that is really, really portable or you're not super strong and you don't like to drag things across your floor, then maybe that would be a big deal for you. Um, and the final con of this piece um, is just in terms of the design, there's obviously no lift for the machine. So it's not like your machine will sit up here and then you can push it down and then it'll you know pop up. Uh, and your machine cannot be obviously flush with the uh, surface of the table like some of the fancier sewing tables. Now those sewing tables that do have those lifts for your sewing machine can be more expensive or you can get like the $100 plastic ones but then they don't have all of the storage that this cabinet does and they don't necessarily fold up to be super compact like this one does. Um, and then finally the last con of this piece is that it is narrow in terms of the you know distance from the wall to the front of the um, table. So if you were doing something like quilting where you need a lot of room behind your machine to have your quilt kind of spread out and supported by a table, this is just not gonna work for it. So when I'm quilting, I'm definitely gonna have to go back to using my dining table to have a little bit more space on the back there. Um, but for normal like garment sewing or even for cutting things on a cutting mat, I think it works perfectly fine. So all in all, I think this was a great buy for me. Um, assembly was kind of annoying and there are some you know cons to the item, but for the price, I think it's a great kind of budget option that closes super compact, that has a space to keep your sewing machine safe. Um, you know, it's, it's a great piece for home sewing. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have this item or you know similar items and have any thoughts on them. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.